Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today's topic of our discussion is what is a recombinant fusion protein and what are the uses within 5 minutes. Let's begin with an example. This is a recombinant fusion protein. Here human alpha tubulin gene is joined to green fluorescent protein making a fusion protein. Because of this we can visualize or subcellular localization of this human alpha tubulin is possible under a fluorescence microscope. The GFP or green fluorescent protein emits green light upon excitation by UV rays. So that we can localize this alpha tubulin protein inside a cell. We know that it is a component of microtubule that forms the cytoskeleton. This green color is the location of alpha tubulin protein inside the cell. So because of this fusion protein, subcellular localization is possible. Now let us define recombinant fusion protein. Recombinant fusion protein are proteins made by recombinant DNA technology that involves joining of two or more genes from different sources transcribed and translated as a single polypeptide just like this. Here two proteins alpha tubulin gene of human and this green fluorescent protein of jellyfish is joined together to form a fusion protein. Now let us see how this is made. First of all we have to make a gene construct with a promoter sequence then with our protein of interest the gene of protein of interest that is human tubulin gene along with green fluorescent protein gene. So this gene construct should be incorporated into a suitable vector then transformed into a suitable host. So it will be transcribed as a single mRNA. Later it will be translated as a fusion protein like this. The common fusion partners, this GFP is called as a fusion partner. Common fusion partners include beta-galactosidase, luciferase and green fluorescent protein. It is also called as tag protein or tagging proteins. Now let us see the other uses of these fusion proteins. First use in the purification of cloned genes. In the making of recombinant insulin, we will be placing our insulin gene by the side of beta-galactosidase gene in the vector. We have given a detailed video on how recombinant insulin is made. You can refer that for more. So in this case, as you can see, this by the side of beta-galactosidase gene, there is insulin A subunit gene. So we will be getting a fusion protein inside E. coli. This is a fusion protein beta galactosidase insulin A fusion protein. We can easily purify this protein using affinity chromatography. So this is the gene of interest. Then that is fused to this stack protein or fusion partner. Then we'll be getting a fused product. This is insulin A protein with beta galactosidase. Protein is extracted from the sample and is passed through affinity column. We will be adding some antibody or anything that is having strong affinity for this beta-galactosidase. Then all the proteins will be eluted. Only beta-galactosidase, the fusion protein will remain in the column and finally that is eluted. In the case of insulin, we will be using cyanogen bromide to cleave the insulin A protein from this fusion protein. Cyanogen bromide will cleave within the methionine residues and finally we will be getting that purified insulin A protein. The same procedure happens with this B protein also. So fusion protein enables easy identification and purification of our protein of interest. As reporters of expression levels, suppose this is this 23 kilo Dalton, this lane is a recombinant fusion protein. You can see these are 1, 2, 3, 4, this is a marker. And these are different treatments or considered as different treatments and you can see the expression difference in expression can be studied maybe this is uh, this is in the presence of an inducer this is also in the presence of an inducer so we can study the expression level if we have this fusion protein very easily and the third advantage is histochemical tagging we have already discussed subcellular localization is possible of protein within the cell or tissues or even in an organism. Now we have GFP tagged animals like rabbits, uh, earthworms, fishes, etc. Finally, it acts as gene expression inducer. In the case of insulin, recombinant insulin production, as we know that beta galactosidase, the common substrate is lactose. So if we add lactose in the medium, that can 
efficiently enhance the transcription and translation of beta galactosidase gene and also our protein of interest. Thus, this fusion protein or fusion partner enables efficient translation to form the protein of our interest. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.